million marks. Facing multiple life sentences, terrorism, conspiracy, more murders than we could even count. So you don't want to talk? Okay. Let me tell you what I know. Ryan Marks. SAS Nomad Squadron. Zero, I'm the one on the ground. I'm telling you, we need to extract now. Negative, hold position, over. down.
Bad news, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, your dad died. Your dad died. Your dad died. Your dad died. Heart attack. Over really quickly. There's nothing anyone could have done. I'm really sorry, mate. Flight's arranged. So get your bags packed. You're going back to London. London streets, abundant greets. Buckle up, cause you got front row seats. Knuckle dusters just slump these cheeks. Round here, man not come from police. Get caught slipping in. London, don't forget, blood is thicker than water's dripping in. Sink into the bottom of the Thames if you do the payback. What you owe, best hope you can smell drinking. I won't kid you, you're a crazy individual, but they ain't playing no game. This ain't Vicky in the mood, and I ain't naming no names. Off the record or official, and you should say the same. Months back. It's alright, Nip. It? Yeah, it's very subtle. Fuck off. <laughs> You're still wearing that horrible ring. Yeah, of course. Where's yours? Oh, I lost it. Ooh, Mum's not going to be happy with you. Oh, you'll never guess who I saw last week. Who? Gary Moss. <laughs> Gary with a small leg. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Looks even smaller now. <laughs> Right up, <laughs> In fairness, you did say it looked like a uh, great little place. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> what the fuck is that? I quit smoking. And carbs. Carbs? Yeah, do you know what? Apple was basically one big carb. <laughs> so I've given up fruit. Well, what about beer? Uh, beer's not fruit, it's grain. <laughs> Here, try it. How do you think she's doing? Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking sudden, mate. I don't think it's hit her yet. I don't think it's any of us. Mm. Look, he was no angel, but just thought he'd make it through to the end. No one big enough to take him on. Things are running smooth now. Even this. Still, better than a bullet in the head, I suppose. Heart attack doesn't sound too fun. Yeah. Probably right. Goes to show though, doesn't it? Oh so what? Oh, I don't fucking know. Something profound. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, mate. Yeah. 
could see you too. Quick. <laughs> Get this over with. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, I'm on him. I won't ask you about the funeral. We're no stranger to those. I just want to know what happened afterwards. It's easy to say a guy comes back from the army. Goes nuts, right? Seen too much, can't handle it, case closed. But we both know that's bullshit. I just want to know what went down there. What's your story? You should write a book. My life is a massive dickhead. I might give you a chapter. If you would tell me something. Okay, I'll tell you something. Go fuck yourself. I mean, who's in charge here? <laughs> I'll speak to them. Ryan. I am ex Delta. We both know the same things. I'm here to help. You need to help me. Uh, X Delta does pop psychology. You gonna ask me what I dreamt about last night? Sure. What'd you dream about last night, Ryan? Well, I was doing a speech naked and all my teeth fell out. What do you think that means? This is a conversation. I'm not a cop. I'm not here to go after your family business. In fact, I don't give a shit about any of that. I know you're not a cop, because you've got CIA written all over you. Delta, really? Come on. Just a fucking desk jockey. <laughs> is that what you think? Yeah, it is. Intel, analysis, mission reports will only take you so far. But if you want the reality of a tactical situation, you need to be on the ground. We both know that. Ground truth. Exactly. How many made it from your unit selection? Five. Plus you. Including me. They don't always take the best guy, but they always take the right guy. Wow. Was there a cliche to it? I failed mine. I gave my homework. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Delta Force. You've convinced me. We can talk. Okay. Good. Dad would have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. Mum, it might be a good time to start thinking about yourself. Get out of this. You can go on a cruise, get a caravan. <laughs> caravan? I can't just leave. People counting on me. What about Nick and Michelle? Everyone to get out so he could watch the snooker. <laughs> he was so proud of you. You know that, don't you? I know. God, you look just like him. He wasn't much younger than you when we met. When was that? 1937. He was a lot funnier than you, though. <laughs> Anne, stay behind me. Get in! They're all over us. All right, all 
right, right. Ah! Put the weapons down. Now! Oh, fuck. Clint, do as she says. Don't move. Listen, love. terrible thing but like I said new opportunities the thing is it's very difficult getting you all together and my offer is for the whole family yeah can we hurry this up so I've got a date tonight you open your fucking mouth again and I'm gonna put a bullet through her face <laughs> 